number six. That's a proper motion, properly seconded. Any discussion? Chairman Farmer, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, what we have in front of us today, the bill that Ms. Esther Helton Haynes has is the most pro-life piece of legislation I've had the opportunity to vote on. We've worked hard to protect those in the, in the bellies of mothers that can't protect themselves. What we've done is we put a reasonable medical judgment standard on this. It's not, excuse me, a reasonable medical judgment standard. It is objective, it is not subjective. We've done that on purpose. We've worked hard to protect the lives of those babies. If the babies can be born, we're gonna deliver that baby alive and well on the operating room tables here in the state of Tennessee. If we can, if we can protect the lives of mothers, we're gonna do that as much as possible. If we can deliver a baby, have a healthy mother, that's what this, that's what this bill does. What this piece of legislation does, it does not protect the life of that child. Absolutely not. I take offense, particularly with section four, subsection two, allows a pregnant woman, has a fundamental, says a pregnant woman has a fundamental right to continue a pregnancy and give birth or to have an abortion before the viability of the fetus. How do we know when the viability is? What, what chances are we giving that child to be born? Are you giving that child a chance? In my opinion, no. So Mr. Speaker, with that said, I'm gonna make the motion to lay this amendment on the table. That's proper motion, probably seconded. Problem in any situations, Representative Johnson of Knox has moved adoption amendment number six. Representative Farmer has moved that motion to the table. That cuts off all debate except for that of the sponsor. Representative Johnson of Knox, you are recognized. Thank you, thank you Mr. Speaker. I can't really tell you what that feels like to have a colleague stand up and say, we're gonna protect that that fetus absolutely no matter what. Women, we'll do the best for you we can. That's what was just said. I mean, talk about feeling like a second class citizen. It, that's, that is unbelievable to me. That's not pro-life. It's absolutely not pro-life. It's forced birth at the risk of young girls and women. That's just a fact. Women, <laughs> can't protect themselves now in Tennessee because of this legislation. Who's gonna protect the women? We're trying, but it seems no one cares about the women and the young girls and their pregnancies and the medical problems that they have along the way. Aortic aneurysm is one of thousands of things that can come up. We know about the issues with cancer and you are telling every woman in this state that they don't matter, that you're gonna do everything you can to protect that fetus. And I understand that you're not doing anything to protect the life that is here, standing up, caring for their other children, caring for their families, and you're not even concerned about that. <clears throat> I propose this amendment today because I believe that a bare minimum we should protect women and families in what is bound to be one of their most traumatic and heartbreaking times when someone they loved is, is in a horrible situation and there's nothing that can be done. We desperately need to make sure that we are giving women their bodily autonomy back and to hear on this floor, I hope everybody doesn't feel that way, but I guess when, those, when that um, board lights up green, we will know how the bulk of folks in this room feel about women. I urge um, not, you not table Amendment 6. Parliamentary situations, Representative Johnson and Knox has moved adoption, Amendment number 6. Representative Farmer has moved that motion to the table. We're voting on the table in motion. All those in favor, vote aye when the bell rings. Those opposed, vote no. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change their vote? Alexander, aye. Rudder, aye. Littleton, aye. Mr. Clerk, take the vote. I-74, 22 nays. The ayes have it. The motion to adopt amendment number six is table. Next amendment, Mr. Clerk. Amendment number seven by Representative Johnson of Knox. Mr. Speaker, it was timely filed. Representative Johnson, you're recognized. 